Merhaba. Hello to everybody. This is uh, Don Imran on my channel Don Imran and today we are here at Dolma Baj Palace. Uh, this is the palace that was constructed or Sultan Abdul Majid, one of the Ottoman Sultans in 1853 instructed uh, to have it built and uh, today we are going to not go inside because we are not permitted to go inside and show you the inside rooms but we are going to be walking around you know the exterior uh, around the gardens. So um, just come follow me a little bit. I'll show you a bit of the extent of what we are dealing with over here today because uh, there's an immensity, um, a grandeur about this place. It's absolutely sensational. So just look at it. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, you have these marble stones. Um, it's, it's a wonderful day. It's a little bit, the sun's kind of gone inside. Okay, just uh, let me get past. As you can see, um, there's a lot of people over here today um, and what is so great is that it's been a dream of mine to actually come over here for like over a year now. Um, I've seen it in a couple of Turkish shows and I was like, wow, Dolmabaj Palace. I've been here to Istanbul three times before, but how comes I have never come across this? So very, very fascinating um, to have come here today and seen for myself how the Sultans, how they lived, how their families lived how the wives, children, um, how the dignitaries that would come over here, how they would um, be seated and how they would be entertained. So we got the opportunity to go inside and see everything and it was absolutely mesmerizing. It was also a way of enhancing our knowledge. But um, obviously we couldn't take, um, we couldn't bring the camera inside. But just come with me, I'm just going to show you a few things. Um, this is obviously the Bosphorus Sea, um, the most significant sea on the planet. There's a reason. Why is it significant? Because this Bosphorus is linked to many different countries. So you have a lot of like ships, you can see boats, you can see all these different sea vehicles and a lot of trade happens from over here. So when the Ottomans were able to do the conquest of Constantinople, which is present day Istanbul, it was a hugely significant moment uh, because of where this place is actually situated. The most significant um, sea on the planet definitely for the past 1000 years so let's have a let's have a look over here um, this is the view that the sultans would have got now behind me is the Bosphorus over here and what's um, fascinating is that the final sultan had to he was exiled from here so he had to take a boat and he uh, departed from from this very place so yeah it's, it's a dream come true coming over here today um, you know, the day is so sunny as well, the, the sky is blue, you see the, the sea of the Bosphorus being very blue as well. And uh, what a feeling, you know, just going inside and it's got these big walls, huge walls, huge ceilings. And uh, just feeling that sort of, there's a different vibe, you know, when you go to anything that's made from past times, especially from over a century ago. And uh, there's a good amount of people that have come over here today. Um, but what, what's incredible is that, as I said, oh, there's, a, there's an area where you can see like uh, the, the personal belonging of the Sultan, of his family, of, um, uh, you know, various different Sultan, not just one. Like there's different eras that you see over here, which is quite fascinating as well. Like, you go to certain rooms, you see um, 
uh, portraits of the Sultan. Like uh, one of the Sultans would have uh, maybe you know, painted a picture of himself, so that would be in a particular room, and then later on, the next Sultan would um, have something that belonged to him, and that was uh, synonymous with his era. Okay, so right now we've um, obviously we've been inside um, the palace itself. So what we're going to do now is uh, there's different price points for the ticket as well, different packages. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, proceed to the harem, which is where Sultan's wives and children um, they lived in the Sultan with the stayed there itself. So let's actually I want to go there. the Haram uh, Cafe, which uh, is very impressive. I'll, uh, we'll show you the design later on. Uh, so I've got the straw here, green straw. Putting it into this ice. So, this is um, an iced uh, mocha. So, this one now. Trileche. So, um, let me take a bite of this. I've already taken some. And uh, it's got some chocolate on top, I and mean, it's got this sort of a milk, sort of um, it's a little bit soaked in milk. This my mouth. Do come to the Batch Palace. Obviously, more importantly for the palace itself, you'll see why in my vlog. But also, come to the Haram Cafe. This is absolutely sensational. Okay, so um, we've come to the end of our vlog over here today at Dolmabash Palace. It's been an absolutely wonderful day, a dream come true, as I said to you guys earlier on, uh, to come over here and to see with my own eyes how this is. Like I've seen some shows, as I mentioned, there's a, show, a Turkish show called Falinta, uh, there's Spice at Abdul Hamid, and they've actually designed like, the sets of this palace, which is very impressive. But when you go and see the palace um, in its actual form, you're like, wow, like the level of artistry, the level of artifacts, the level of you know, interior design, the chandeliers that we saw, absolutely incredible. Um, so, as you can see, I'm going to show you one thing before we go, is you'll see up there, there is the, um, that is the Ottoman emblem. Uh, you see that in, in gold with um, some calligraphy there. And uh, very, very significant, this is like the Ottoman sign. So whenever someone would, whenever the Sultan would make a correspondence uh, through mail, um, they would actually use that as a stamp to show who they are. And Sultan Abdul Hamid Khan the second, he wasn't someone that you would see many photos of. There's maybe two or three photos that have been recorded of him. But he would actually use this um, to, to communicate with some of his, with, with, with people of different nations, you know, from a political point of view. So it's been wonderful. Inside we saw chandeliers, inside we saw, you know, like how, ent how guests are entertained. We saw the baths, we saw the spas, you know, where the Sultan would have gone and had his baths and everything like that. Um, like there's so much that I saw, I can't, even I can't even mention, you know, I can't even remember how much, how many things we saw. We've been here for almost about four hours now. So you can imagine how big this whole garden, this whole area is. Like uh, we walked all the way from there. Like I can't really show you, I can't really explain to you how huge this is, but maybe it's like um, the size of multiple football stadiums. Okay, so, um, We've come to the end of this, um, this vlog of Dolmabash Palace. It's absolutely amazing. The Ottomans are very, very special. They're the longest running empire that uh, Muslims saw. They, they had a reign of 624 years. 
And obviously this is the place where the final Sultan um, had to be exiled. But behind, you see um, a statue of a lion, and this signifies who the Ottomans were. There were lions, there were warriors, not just, by, not just in terms of the physical, from a physical point of view, but also from a political point of view in terms of the intellect, in terms of um, devising strategies, in terms of so many things. So with that said, it's been really good. And catch you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, do comment in the comment section below. And uh, do let me know if you like this video so that I can come up with new content of, of a similar nature. Nothing's gonna be the Dombavash Palace um, in terms of what I've viewed over here, but we'll see you in another adventure. Goodbye.